now that the season is becoming more seasoned sunglasses. Yeah! What is going on again, Nerve Freighters? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with us today. We're playing some more Ark Survival Evolved, and we're over here on the Scorched Star server doing some more buildy buildy times of the Nerve Parade Tower that has yet to be properly named because we haven't come up with anything good. I am joined with Disturbed, who's helping me do some buildy times. What's going on, Disturbed? What's going on, Nick? Oh, not too much. We're just trying to get a handle on this really green, hulkish quest. You know, we gotta name this guy. So we've been trolled again. It's 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 always like continuous trolling whenever we build something. We have to rename this Quetzal now. It's oh, getting interesting to, to log Hulk. in and see what people have done. Oh yes, it is. I'm gonna actually no. I'm gonna change it not to Hulk. Even though it's green like the Hulk, we're gonna call him the Bulk. Yes. So yeah, you're absolutely right. The trolling is getting so like amusing that I'm actually looking forward to logging in and be like, okay, who's done something crazy with the base today? And if nobody does anything, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I get slightly disappointed. It it, it kind of breaks my heart a little bit. All right. Enough of our ridiculousness, guys. I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade. Thank you so much for coming back to hang out with us today. We're going to be doing some little bit of some little bit of buildy buildy times because most of the stuff you guys have seen, a lot of it is rather repetitive. And let me actually show off the tower and our progress. We'll talk about it a little bit. As you guys may or may not know, we are building the Nerd Parade Tower to Skybox. And here is our current situation. This is what we're working with. We've completed a second dino pen, if that's what you want to call it. So we've got our first and then our opposite side. We've got the behemoth gate over here. And the reason why we're doing this is so that we can maintain turret density the same uh, not maintain turret density the same. That, that didn't fl come out right. Keep turret density the same on each side. So we're going to switch it up. Now, as you can see over here, we're putting it, we're putting the, where the gate will be at like, I'll call it, I guess I'll call this like desert side. And then this side will be dune side. And that's what we're going to try to do with the fourth one. If we can make it all the way to skybox with four as like, let's pretend we're right here. Uh, let's pretend that we're right there. We are right there. And we're going to fly up, and we should be hitting Skybox. We're at Skybox now. It's pretty close. Like, it's pretty darn close. We will definitely hit three. I'm just not quite sure that... If four is not selling me. I'm not quite sure that we're going to make four. I think we're going to make, like, three and three quarters or something like that. But that is yet to, yet to be seen. So this is just the recap of what you guys may or may not know of what we're building here on Scorched as our base of operations. And I'm pretty excited about it. But we're not going to show a lot of the builds today because you guys have already seen it. We're just making a C shape over and over again with ceilings up, up, up until we can finally get hit the sky, hit the sky box. And we're using door frames as our area to put down uh, our catwalks for, for our turrets. Now, with that long-winded explanation out of the way, uh, a lot of people actually ask me, I'm going to address, uh, address a question really quick. Uh, why don't you use doors to, to protect your dinos once they're in there? And we're not... From sniping. We're not really worried about getting sniper. The server has ORP, uh, or offline raid protection. And if we're offline, we're not too really worried about sniper bullets like coming into the area of our base and hitting our dinos. If we are online, the turrets are more or less going to protect them once they're placed down. Uh, if somebody does actually manage to find that perfect angle to snipe through the door frame, I, I just I'm, I don't feel like it's going to be that big of a threat. Like we would probably recognize it, and it would have they would have to be on a quetzal. I don't think it's worth the extra structure. So for each one of these doors, door frames, there would have to be a door, and we would get to the point where we're, we're already probably going to get pr really close to structure cap as it is. I'm worried about getting that much closer by adding an extra door to each one of these door frames. So that's the reason why we haven't dropped doors on any of these. And that and outside of the reason I don't think we really need it. So I'll address that question. Since it was blaring, glaring at us right in the face. Looking at us all evilly like, why don't I have a door? I should be more protected. No. we don't. You don't need doors. You just need to roll with it. This is how we roll on the desert. With 
with big sandy cojones. I, I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. But I'm going to come at you guys with a little bit of news while we're doing some buildy buildy times. Just, I mean, this is just, oh, this is just flavor. What I'm doing on screen. We're actually going to be talking about something fun. And it's something that I mentioned a few videos back. And I got, I got some pretty positive feedback on it. You guys seem relatively excited, but it's about the Nerd Parade fan meetup. It's something I'm very excited about. And we've actually gotten a little bit closer with our details, so to speak. So I'm going to release more information about what is actually going to be happening. Now, first and foremost, the dates. The dates of said convention uh, where I'm going to be going to, where I'm going to be having the, the Nerd Parade fan meetup, if you guys want to attend the convention as well, it's going to be April 13th through the 16th. April 13th through the 16th. And that's 2007, obviously. 2007. 2017. Wow. I, we went in the past. Back time. We're going, yeah, we're rolling back 10 years of the past. You you have to use the hyperbolic uh, time. No, that's that's the other way around. That's I'm using Dragon Ball Z references. Not the hyperbolic time chamber. You have to use the time ring or whatever method of time travel. That you pr okay. This has gone on way too long. <laughs> I gotta stop talking about time travel because it's very confusing. No. April 13th through the 16th, 2017, it is... The convention is Star Wars Celebration 8 in Orlando, Florida. That is the convention. I'm very much looking forward to it. As you guys may or may not know, I'm kind of a Star Wars fan, if you couldn't tell from some of the ridiculous Wookiee sounds that I make and things of that nature. But I'm a big Star Wars fan, and I've actually gone to every Star Wars Celebration convention that, they're, that they have had since Celebration 3, because that, that was actually my first one, and I was... Uh, I was in high school for that one. That's going to date me a little bit. Wow. But I was in high school for Star Wars Celebration 3, and that was my very first convention. So every year prior, they have a convention every two years. A little backstory about Star Wars Celebration. They have a convention every two years, and we haven't missed a one. So I'm, I'm really excited to go to this one. I was just kind of concerned about you know, making sure that we got the passes in the mail and all that stuff. I didn't want to say like, okay, yeah, guys, we're going to this. And then be like, uh oh, um, yeah, redact that statement. No. So everything's green lit so far. Uh, everything's good. We've, we're trying to work on our hotel reservations and everything of that nature, but that is going to be the nerd parade fan meetup. If you guys are interested or wanting to go, I will be there and more than happy, absolutely elated. In fact, to get to meet you guys, take some pictures, you know, whatever, Whatever you guys want to do, I, I'll be happy. Maybe we can sit down and grab some lunch or something. I think that would be super cool. But if you guys want to get me, I will have my, I'll have my phone with me. The best way to get me is going to be Twitter. So if you don't already follow me on Twitter, uh, hit me up on Twitter, and I'll put out like tweets uh, if, I'm, if I'm not in a show or something. Not that I'm going to be in part of the shows, but I'll be going to the shows like uh, a regular convention goer. And I don't want to miss any like the cool stuff. So I'll be like, okay, I got some free time. You know, who wants, to, who's here, who wants to meet up? So that's where I'm going to be launching my assault from. My launching my plan of attack is going to be from Twitter. And that is the big news that I wanted to relate to you guys today as we're doing some builder builder times because I am just absolutely so super excited about. It. I can't wait. I'm so super excited about. Oh, I didn't make it up there about this convention. And I know there's going to be somebody who's like, well, what about videos? What are you going to do for videos while you're at the convention? And I'm going to, this is, this is what I'm going to try to do. I can't promise you anything, but I'm going to try to get to the point where I've pre-recorded at least enough to cover for like a video every other day that I'm going to be away. So there may be like an on day and an off day during the vacation, but I'm going to try my best to get uh, like videos so that there's still videos released while, while I'm gone. It's, it's going to be a challenge, but I think I might be able to pull it off. Hopefully. But that's enough of me rambling, guys. We're going to progress more with the Buildy Buildy Times. Uh, stuff that you've already seen me do through two or three videos now. Making this ridiculous C shape and putting down the, the door frames and the ceilings. Once we've got some more progress on this base, we're going to come back, show it off, and then maybe talk about some other cool stuff since I've rambled on for ten solid minutes. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll catch you in just a moment. Okay, nerd paraders, we are back in action. It is, we've fast forwarded in time. It's a, a whole nother day. I've had a wardrobe change. I've, my facial hair is longer. Been working at this for ages. But we have reached as far as we can go on the tower. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it. Okay, so this is as high as we can get 
if I can land on it. Come on, let me land, otherwise I'm just going to pop off. Let me land the incredible bulk. That's right. This is as high as we can get stably with the build. Now, you see we have like some kind of four corners thing going on. The tower's looking very like Eye of Sauron-y. Kind of cool. It works out, but I'm going to show you why I did that. So, can I gamma down, actually? No, I can't. I'm at base gamma. This is just super freaking bright. Okay, so we pop down our door frame like we're going to build another one. Weird, right? Too high above ground. But look at, what what is this? What is this buttoxery? Too high above ground, but I can build in the corner. I don't know why. I don't know how it worked out the way it worked out. But for whatever reason, this is as high as we can make, like, ceilings. But I can make four corners, four, like, pillars in the corner to make it look like we have the Eye of Sauron in this tower. It worked out. I'm not complaining. It's kind of cool. It's not quite what I was expecting. I was thinking we were going to be able to build all the way up. Like, all the way up, up to Skybox. We reached it, but I thought we were going to reach it with something kind of like this. Like, okay, this is now, like, pr pretend we're, like, right at Skybox right now. I thought that they, there was going to be no chance of a Quetzal to get up here. But there is a small little gap. Not a big deal. It doesn't change our plans at all. And I'll show you why, is because, say somebody flies... Okay, pretend I have a turtle. Rawr! I've just grabbed a turtle. An imaginary turtle, and it's loaded up with C4. Now, we're flying at... We're at Skybox flying to this base. Even at this point right here, the highest point that you can get on the map, as we're flying in, the Quetzal will be lit up. And maybe the turtle, too, and maybe the C4 will be detonated. But the Quetzal won't have the chance to make it close enough. It'll have to soak too much to come in, drop and then go out. It'll be it'll be more or less impossible. So the Nerd Parade Tower is still functional, still built a skybox as high as it can go. It just needs turrets. And that is not something I'm willing to tackle right now because this build has drained so much time and effort, but it's it's been so worth it. It's been a, probably one of the craziest builds yet. Now, I started to build something like thinking I might be able to get a fifth behemoth gate on there. I can't. We, we couldn't do it. We barely got the four. Uh, well, not barely. We, we easily got the four, actually. Barely is not the right word. Actually, it's not the appropriate word I should have used at all. We got the four. There was potential for a fifth, but it's, it's not going to happen. So this is going to be four sides of turret annihilation happening uh, once we can manage to get the turrets. It's going to be a ridiculous farm. It's going to take forever and ever and ever. And that's why this is in place. This tower is in place for more along the lines of a, of a season finale where we're having the entirety. Did I just really do that again? <laughs> we're having the entirety of Scorched Earth come and attack the tower at once. That's what we're planning for the season finale, which I've seriously, which I've mentioned a couple of times in the previous videos. That's why we're doing this, like, probably one of the grandest scale builds that we've ever done. I just got to make sure I leave enough room for me to get out. And I think we're going to be taking a, a minor break from the buildy buildy time since we've been working so hard at it. But I, I was driven. The passion was there. I needed to get this. I, it's not complete. I needed to get this touching the skybox as high as it would go because that was my burning desire with this. We're, we're, we're above the lightning storm. I think I talked about this in a previous episode of the Buildy Buildy Times. We're above the lightning storm. We could still see out over the entirety, but we would still be affected by the lightning storm itself. This has me so super excited. I hope you guys have, have liked this build so far. It's been such an interesting, interesting endeavor. Like, we've never done anything like this before. But I'm really excited about it. And I'm really excited about the rest of Season 4 and some of the PvP action stuff that we're going to be getting into. The battles on Scorched Earth, everything. It's, it's awesome. Awesome. I'm just, I'm in a really good mood today, and I hope you guys are too. But that is going to wrap it up for us today. This is a shorter video. I really wanted to get the message out about the Nerd Parade fan meetup. I really wanted to get the uh, the tower touching the sky. And I know, I know it's a shorter video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But this is going to wrap it up for this video. I don't want there to be a whole big, there's been a ton of buildability times. We all know it. There's been a ton of buildability times, and not a lot of PvP times. And now that the season is becoming more seasoned sunglasses yeah I, okay sorry <laughs> wait hang on the season is more seasoned 
I, I can't put them on right because I don't have my heads up. You guys get where I'm going with it. Don't make fun of me. Or make fun of me a little. It's pretty, it's in good fun. But I hope you guys like this video and my ridiculous shenanigans and the build of the tower and the incredible bulk and the storm and all the things that are going on at Scorched Earth right now. If you did, please leave a thumbs up for us. Boom. Let us know that you like the stuff and that you're liking the tower and that you are excited. Thumbs up for excitement for the future of Season 4 and what this tower is going to be able to do. Now that this is complete, we have a bright horizon in front of us. Subscribe to the page, guys, if you haven't done so yet. This is your first Nerf Parade video ever. Subscribe to that page. And remember, take care of yourselves and stay awesome. We'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later. <laughs>